Good morning, everyone. I've got a, a few announcements, especially for the specialist high skills major students, and in particular those in grade 12. But first of all, the ICE training, Innovation, Creativity, Entrepreneurship. It has been extended, the due date. It's on the LMS for the SHSM page. Uh, so if you have not done the ICE training, regardless of what grade, you still have at least until tomorrow. If you need an extension for some reason, if something's gone wrong, please email me, sylvestris at hwcdsb.ca and uh, let me know and we can pr probably arrange that into the beginning of next week. We do have to record all of these entries before the end of the year. We'd like to do it before the exam starts. So uh, please do that if at all possible. If you did it last year, you don't have to do it again this year. And again, if you do it this year, you won't have to worry about it next year. A couple of updates. A lot of you already know. Uh, the last couple years, co-op hasn't been as available in as many places as usual. So the Ministry of Education has made a couple of exemptions. If you did not uh, complete two credits of co-op, which is normally the requirements for SHSM, but you took extra in-class in courses that were major courses, part of the SHSM program for your sector, then we can still apply for that exemption. So just because you didn't complete the two credits of co-op doesn't mean that you're not eligible. The other exemption is for CPR and first aid. This year we were able to do them in person, uh, but last year we weren't. So again, they're making an exemption. If you're missing the CPR and first aid certifications, doesn't mean that you're eliminated from completing SHSM this year. We do have to find two extra elective certifications that you may have completed by now and apply for that exemption as well. So some of you think you may not have been able to complete it, but in fact, you may be eligible. Regardless, we still need the ICE training certification completed. So if you do everything else, but don't get the ICE certification, you will not get the red seal for SHSM on your diploma. And your SHSM record card will show that it's partially completed instead of fully completed. Uh, some of the universities and colleges <clears throat> do have scholarships, but it's on the condition that you complete the SHSM and earn the Red Seal. So again, if you're this close to getting that designation, please complete the ICE training. Let me know if you have any issues. I will try to also contact you if I'm missing any certifications, but feel free to make an appointment um, with me or email and uh, or drop by the guidance office so that we can discuss that okay but the ice training and it, i tried to send out emails uh, the last few days and the last couple weeks so please check your emails make sure that you do uh, do that and, and inquire if you have any questions thank you good morning stm my name is adriana my name is william and i'm kevin and here are your announcements for today this, this ma oh this message is for students with an IEP. Please check your email for important final exam information. If you have any questions, please come by room 217 to speak with a CERT. There will be a brief more neuroscience meeting after school tomorrow, or Friday, in room 333. See you then. And now for your sports. Yesterday, the girls' slow pitch team faced off against St. Mary's in the championship game. Despite taking home a silver medal, the girls gave St. Mary a run for their money. Great season. Please return your jerseys to Ms. Cupido in room 310. Thanks, STM. Have a great day. <laughs> Good morning, STM. I'm Miguel Gunnam here from your student council. Yesterday, we held our very first start to summer event. It genuinely had to be one of the best events that has happened this year. We would like to thank our amazing advisors, Mrs. Danielowitz, Mrs. Mankezi, Mrs. Chiquetti, and Ms. Silvestri for all their help and support with this whole event. A huge thank you goes out to our fantastic custodians for setting up our splash blaster, dealing with all of our water issues, and cleaning up after our event. Thank you to our principal, Mr. Daly, our vice principals, Mr. Morazzo, Mr. Juba, our vice pres, Josiah Bowen, and our future pres, Mason Jovanangeli, for being great sports and volunteering to participate in our splash blaster. Thank you to my fellow council members as well as next year's council for their help and great energy throughout the day. But most importantly, thank you to each and every night that came out and participated in our event. You truly brought the energy and STM spirit that we have missed for so long. 
We couldn't have done this event without you all and are so happy it was a huge success. We seriously couldn't have asked for a better way to end off this year and hope each of you had a great time and made great memories. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, which all can be found at STM underscore council for updates, information, and everything council related. Thanks, STM. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 821. Have a great day.